<clears throat> All right, Shalom, Shalom. All praise is honor and glory is always being to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Rakah Kwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. Those be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you've been given the Spirit to receive that knowledge or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS, where millstone through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Do rule well today in peace, love, blessing, salutations. Be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, beginning with 140 and 4,000 prophets, all the way down to the remaining elect who are prophesied to hear this good news and repent, man. You see, here it is. The earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. Job 9 and 24, he's covered the faces of the judges thereof. And he's caused deceit to prosper on the planet Earth, man. Deceived the entire planet Earth into what they would call right, into what they would call wrong, man. But here we have a whole book of instruction, man. And that's what, uh, uh, let's go ahead and we'll start out with this real quick, man. So I had some lyrics pulled up. I'll go ahead and pull that out, out too shortly, Lord willing. But uh, this is the book of Romans chapter 7. And uh, let's see, it says... Uh, Verse 7, it says, What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid, nay, I had not known sin but by the law. Because basically, man, we were given this unsearchable law going all the way back to the very beginning. You see? This unsearchable law that we've rid ourselves of, pursuing the second Ezra, the ninth chapter, and the ninth verse on down. You see, we've separated ourselves from this unsearchable law of the Heavenly Father. That would what? What does this law bring forth, man? Life. You see? When you transgress this law, it brings forth death. For example, uh, uh, the Most High said to, to, to refrain from homosexual acts. What happens when you do uh, partake in that? Then you get diseases and, and, and bring forth uh, uh, sicknesses and death, man. Uh, another example, the unclean meats, the unclean foods, man. The Heavenly Father gave us a particular dietary law to live by. Uh, what happened? Esau tells you that you can go ahead and do whatever the hell you want. And now the whole world is pulling out these, these, you know, natural filters to the ocean. You see, being these crustaceans and what have you, and consuming them. Now not only is the ocean being polluted because those natural filters aren't there, but your body is also being polluted, man. Bringing forth more sicknesses and more death. You see, when you transgress the Heavenly Father's law, that is death, man. What is sin? Let's go ahead and ask real quick, what is sin? Because if we go to Romans, and we'll jump back here to this, well, actually, uh, yeah, this is Romans 6 and 23, and it reads, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. So the wages of sin is death, man. So when you sin, what does it bring forth? Death. Again, what is sin? 1 John, let's lock it, 1 John 3 and 4. And it reads, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. You see that, man? Sin is the transgression of the law. You see? Who is the power that both kills and makes alive? The Heavenly Father, man. You see, the scriptures tell you that He creates peace and creates evil. You see? Fear not Him that could kill the body, but Him that could kill both the body and the soul, man. The Heavenly Father has the power to kill and make alive, you see? When you sin, when you break His law, it brings forth death, man. All right. And the reason why, you know, I'm getting into this is because I was listening to these, uh, you know, these lyrics, which, you know, we've all heard this song, you know, for the most part, man, um, you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony Crossroads. And, uh, you know, one particular part, you know, he says, uh, uh, and I got it pulled up right here. He says, can somebody, anybody tell me why we die, we die. So he's asking, you know, hey, can somebody tell me why we die, man? Why is it that death is a thing? And what is it? The wages of sin. Who did we learn sin from since the very beginning, man? Esau. You see? That old wicked serpent, man, gave us the knowledge uh, 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 to do evil, you see? Gave us the fruit of wickedness. And now it has been brought what you see today, man. I'm going to go ahead and grab another precept real quick, man. This is the book of... Second, so you see, man, death comes forth because of sin, man. 
Again, what is sin? The transgression of the law. What did Paul say? Romans 7. He said, I would not know sin if it wasn't for the law, man. The law teaches us right from wrong. Are we saved by the works of the law? No. Not by the works of the law alone, but we prove our faith by the law, man. You see? Christianity tells you, oh, there was a sacrifice, so go ahead and do whatever the hell you want, man. The laws are done away with. Well, what, what is sin then? What is repentance? You see? We are going to try to be perfect knowing damn well we won't be perfect, man. But we are going to try for perfection, man. And at the coming of Yahweh Shai, those that are continuing to chip away at this old man, those who are continuing to grow, are going to be made perfect, man. It ain't going to be no walk in the park. You see, we're coming from a place of you never lifted up a, a two-pound weight in your entire life, man. Now all of a sudden you're over here trying to, you know, trying to, trying to uh, 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 be, at, be at the gym on a daily occurrence, man. You see, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to take time, man. You're going to be broken down to be built back up. You see, but those that endure and continue this good fight of faith are going to overcome, man. That's why the book of Matthew, uh, uh, the fifth chapter, tells you what? That he that teacheth, uh, or, or that, that until heaven and earth pass, not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, man. You see, and he that teacheth men to, 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 to break this law will be least in the kingdom, man. Because this is our law that we were given to separate us from all nations. This very same law that we are going to rule the planet by. Pursuing to what? Micah 4 and 1. We'll go ahead and just hit uh, 2 just to hit the main point, man. It says, And many nations shall come and say, Let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us his ways. You see that, man? His ways. Why? Because we were given the knowledge of the law. We were given the law, man. We were given the knowledge of how to, how to, how to rule the planet. You see? This is how we're going to rule the planet, by the law of the Heavenly Father, and this is what's going to make the whole planet to flourish, man. Right now you see it in chaos because all these heathen nations have ruled without the law, man. They've ruled according to their own law. But what is it that we're going to teach the whole world? It says, and he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths, and the law, for the law shall go forth out of Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. You see that, man? The law is coming forth out of Zion, man. You see? Let's see. This is... Uh, con, verse... Uh, it's lock here. Verse uh, 8, it says, And thou, O tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion... Unto thee shall it come, even the first dominion, the kingdom, shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. You see, to the daughter of Jeru Jerusalem, man. We've been given the knowledge of the, uh, of the Heavenly Father's word, his law, man. And we're going to establish that upon the planet Earth, man. That's why when you go to verse 13, Arise and thresh, O Zion, for I will make thy horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people. You see, beat them down and... and, and, and Build them up according to the ways of the Heavenly Father because this world has been defiled underneath the hands of Esau, man. You see? Everything that you see is not so, man. Upside down, you see? But now the Heavenly Father is going to turn it right side up, man. It says, And thou shalt beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto, unto the Lord, and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. So finally, glory is going to be given to the Heavenly Father, man. And who's going to establish it? The governing body of Israel, man. You see? The elect. Let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and grab uh, one more, one more uh, precept over here, man. This is First Corinthians 15, and uh, let's see, verse uh, verse 18. It says, "Then they also which are fallen asleep in Amashiach are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Amashiach, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Amashiach raised from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept." You see. So through this sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, man, you see, he was the first to be risen and glorified and now is on the right hand of Yahweh, man. How do we know this to be true? Because we have been quickened and we've been able to come out of this wicked place of the world, man. If it wasn't for that, we would be remaining in our sins and we would be continuing in this black and brown culture and everything that we've received from the hands of E, man. But now what do you see, man? All these camps raising up, man. The Valley of Dry Bones, Ezekiel 40, 37. What do you think that's talking about, man? What does it tell you? An exceedingly great army of Israel. The Israelites coming back into, into remembrance of who they are, man. And in time, 
physically becoming who they were, man. Verse uh, 21, it says, For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. Look, what was, what was brought in the very beginning by that wicked serpent, man? The knowledge of evil sin, man. And this, this is really the image of Esau's system, man. The image of the beast, you see? That the, that the whole world is getting ready to bow to, man. How is he going to cause the whole world to bow to him doing this? By giving the whole world this RFID microchip that the scriptures tell you to, 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 to not take, man. But the whole world out of fear of Esau is going to take it. But those of us who, who endure are going to continue fearing Yahweh rather than man, you see? Knowing he is the power that kills and makes alive. We learned our whole life that, you know, these different things that we do will keep you from from death man what is it at the end of the day man serve yahweh man he is the power that kills and makes alive you see can somebody anybody tell me why man it's because you it's because the 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 the, the sin sin brings forth death man and soon this sin is going to be abolished because we are going to be made perfect having what this law again when you break this law what happens it brings forth sin man and sin brings forth death. So this law is going to be written. Where's it going to be written, man? Hebrews, uh, uh, the eighth chapter and the eighth verse on down, man, that new covenant, the law. Where's that law going to be written? Within our heart and within our mind. You see? We are going to be perfect, man. Not ever going off. Finally over, have overcome the flesh as Yahweh Shai, man. So through Yahweh Shai, just as man came death, so the heavenly father used man, sent Yahweh Shai in the flesh as we are, to overcome the flesh, to bring forth life, man. Now through him, we have a chance, man. Verse 23, because we couldn't keep this law in our own flesh, man, in our own members. Now it's going to be written within our members. You see, that's why the scriptures tell you in that new covenant, you don't have to teach your neighbor anymore in that day, man. Why? The whole nation of Israel is going to know the heavenly father, man. It's going to be written within their flesh, you see. And, and, and why is that going to be needed to be done? So we could establish the Heavenly Father's rule on the planet forevermore in righteousness, man. You see, because if, 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 if that law wasn't written within us, then we would still be corruptible. And eventually, we would corrupt the, the, the planet again, man. You see, this is the will of the Heavenly Father, man. This is the gospel. Verse uh, 23. But every man in his own order... Hamashayak, the first fruits afterward, they that are Hamashayaks at his coming. And that's that that'd make up that first dominion that we were just reading about, man. You see? First, Yahweh Shai was the first one to be risen and glorified, man. Afterward, they that are Hamashayaks at his coming, man. This shows that's another cut towards Christianity, man. The elect are gonna be raised at the coming of Yahweh Shai, man. That's when we're gonna have the law written within us. That's when we're gonna be entered into this new covenant. Right now, we're in the time of grace. You don't die and go straight to heaven. Heaven is a place on earth that is going to be established, man. That's why the scriptures say what? The kingdom of heaven dwelleth within you, man. We make up the kingdom, man. And when we're made perfect and these laws written within us, then it'll be the domino effect, man. And eventually all manner of life will flourish on the planet earth. You see? It says, verse 24, then come at the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom of the heavenly father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and all power, it shows you America's got to go, Russia's got to go, all these nations are going to be beat down, just as we just read, like the threshing floor, to do what, man? To establish one rule, man, the rule of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, governed by the elect that are going to have his law written within them, man. Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given in the hand of the wicked, and they cover the faces of the judges thereof. The judges are about to be uncovered, man. The judges are about to be made perfect, and true judgment is going to be made to prosper here on the planet earth, man. You are going to be judged according to what? The law. Not according to Esau's way of thinking, not according to this guy's opinion, not according to that guy's opinion, man. But the law of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Because that is the power that kills and makes alive, man. That is the power that has created the whole planet on a level of wisdom that we can't even begin to comprehend, man. Esau will tell you it's the Big Bang, but they can't tell you what's caused the Big Bang. Wisdom on a level that you can't get, Esau. That's why you see Esau, he goes and tries to mimic the Most High through all this pseudoscience and things of that nature, man. Which he go, he's able to go so far, but 
at a point, you know, Esau don't make no sense, man. The act of science is just studying the works of the Heavenly Father. But Esau tries to be the Heavenly Father, man. You see? Take it to a whole new level. And at the end of the day, man, you know, this devil only has enough to, to, to play his part as the adversary, man. Soon this devil's going to be removed and you're about to see true technology, man. You're about to see people reach a level in which we will use 100% of our brain, man. Esau tries to act like he's a power. He, he, he could only use not even half his brain, man. You see, but that's reserved for us, man. That is what we have in store for us. And that's why we continue. And that's why we strive the way we do, man. We have a kingdom coming. We have a kingdom prepared, man. And the only way we were going to overcome is through this foundation, man. All these people trying to fight against Esau, trying to better the world all throughout history. And none of them did a damn thing, man, because the only foundation that's going to overcome this damn devil, which there will not be peace until Esau is removed, is this right here, man. Yeah, how was shy, man? You see? So, yeah, this devil covered us up, man. And now he's about to, 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 to be put back on the very bottom, man. All rule, all authority, and all power, man. There's one last beast system prophesied a rule that would rule over the planet and oppress all flesh, man. If not America, NATO, and the EU, the, 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 the last beast system, then who? You see? If we are not the Israelites waking up all throughout the earth, you see all these prophecies coming to pass, then who, man? Well, with that, Lord willing, this is edify, man. We give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Shem 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 Yahweh